Try that again. <laughs> so I just opened this nice Yabo and uh, the camera's off. I have no idea how much was recorded, so I'm going to start from the beginning. So, got a nice uh, letter here. Okay to read on camera. That's what I'm gonna do. So it says, hi Jeff, uh, my name is Greg and my last name is Ford. Uh, and no, I am not related to anyone who created the Ford Motor Company. I sent you some stuff that I accumulated while cleaning uh, and did not necessarily want to get rid of the items, but did not have a clue who to give it to. So basically they're yours to do with what you want. I work at a uh, hospital as a nurse's assistant and uh, relate to some of your old folks home stories. Also, the story time videos about your bathroom experiences are absolutely hilarious. Well, I'm glad someone's enjoying it. <clears throat> I certainly did not at the time, although stuff like that is certainly funny later. Anyway, it may sound weird, but if you have any more bathroom experiences, please do a video on it. Um, anyways, I have been into knives ever since I was 17 or so. I'm, uh, I'm 24 now, although for all those years when I acquired a knife, I would use and never sharpen them. I recently went on a desperate search for a sharpener and found the Spyderco sharp maker. Every time, every knife in the house is now shaving sharp, lol. I have made a separate list of what items I have mailed you with a description of each. Uh, I sign off wishing you a spooky Halloween, a feastful Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Thanks for everything you do, Greg Ford. P.S. Yes, you can make all the Ford jokes. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Greg, I don't think I have a good Ford joke. Uh, if one comes to mind throughout the video, I'll certainly throw it out there, but... So I thought this was really nice of you. Um, it's funny because I've gotten this comment before from people too, like when I do yabos and stuff and unboxings, and people will say that they empty out their junk drawers and don't know what to do with it, so they send it to Jeff. <laughs> well, I have to say I really do appreciate it. Uh, I find uh, a lot of different things very interesting. One man's junk is another man's treasure, so it's always appreciated. So, where do I start? Well, I thought this was funny. Actually, Christina has this patch. She got this when she went to... I want to say Blade Show. It might have been Shot Show, but anyway, it's the uh, the Poop Happens patch, which is hilarious. Absolutely love it. So now I have my own. Um, he sent some different coins here. We have a Kennedy Bicentennial coin. Pretty cool. A little pouch, which actually I'll reuse this pouch for something else as well. Um, we also have Yosemite, uh, California 2010, like uh, kind of, you know, Memorance, I guess, uh, coin. Then there's this coin. It says Half Dome. All right. The California Collection. Pretty cool. I've never seen this before. You guys let me know. I'm guessing the Half Dome is a, a mountain. Then we got a classic old fidget spinner. Anyone still using these things? I still think they're fun. And he sent me one of those uh, credit card knives, which you guys know all about. I did a video on this a long time ago. All right, so it snaps in place. So you got a little, you know, emergency knife if need be. Pretty cool. And then he sent some of these squished pennies. Now, I actually really like these things, um, but I'll probably end up giving these to my niece or nephew to kind of collect and play around with. Uh, mostly because when I get these, it's because of, it's places I've been before. And uh, I haven't been to, I don't think, anything <laughs> that's here. Um, obviously, this is like a touristy thing. When you go different places, they'll have those machines. You put, you know, two quarters and 50 cents is what it costs. And you throw one of your own pennies and it squishes it. It's like kind of a, you know, commemorative thing. So you can remember being there. Like San Francisco, never been to San Francisco before. This one's the Oregon coast, never been to Oregon before. So these things are pretty cool. But like I said, I mean, the ones that I actually save are the places that I've been. Next up, we got a cool little Glock keychain. I do have a little keychain collection, so this will certainly be added to that. Might rock this on the keys for a couple days, who knows. Then we got a hobo knife. These things are actually really fun, even the cheap ones, like this is kind of a cheaper one, but this will definitely get used. I like these a lot. So it's basically kind of like a Swiss Army knife, um, only you have utensils for eating. And almost always when you have these, the handles come apart. All right, so this way you can use them independently. Okay, so you have the fork and spoon. There's also a little knife in here. It's not too sharp at all, but I could probably grind that down if you wanted to use it. And then we have, of course, the bottle opener. But like I said, these can definitely come in handy. It's kind of a, a cool little piece of gear to play around with. Whether you have a cheap one or an expensive one, they're very cool. And then lastly, we got a couple of these cutouts from Stones, which are really, really neat. And I used to remember the names of these. This one's all polished up. So I'm not going to guess, but, you know, just different minerals. 
I actually have a coaster collection and this one I will keep probably for a coaster and I'll actually use it as a coaster. Um, this one, I'm not sure what to do with yet. It's also really cool too. So obviously it's from a, a large rock. There's slices there cut out with special, you know, cutting bits and stuff. Um, and then of course this is polished up, but it's just really cool. Very nice decorative pieces. Actually, Christina has one of these uh, as a nightlight. So maybe we'll utilize this and make a new nightlight. You know, you get the plug-ins with the bulb and sometimes they'll sell a separate piece that clips in and you can just basically glue whatever you want to it and you can have the light pass through this. So it might be a cool, cool little project for her. So thanks a lot, Greg. I really do appreciate it. Hope everyone has an awesome day and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.